my name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a magic live. Now today I'm going to be performing a version of Collectors by, uh, by Paul Gertner. And it's from his book Steel and Silver. It's a very interesting approach to uh, a collector's routine. Uh, it's actually great for walk around, that's where I perform it most, walk around. Uh, I'm going to perform it on Jack, you normally need three spectators, but we're on our own here, so Jack's going to be three people if that's okay, Jack. That's a scary thought, but yes. And uh, I normally do this, as I say, walk around, and what I, the, the hook line for this, Jack, is to say, you know, would you like to see a card trick? I'm going to show you a card trick, but I normally don't perform for free, however, I'm going to give you three aces. Now, each one of these aces is, the, uh, is like a ticket to see a free card trick, so you're going to get three card tricks. Look at me. And that's the magician's ace. I'll put that over there. So come up here, Jack, so you can see what's going on. Um, normally, uh, when I do this, uh, it, it's, it's walk around and they're holding the cards, but whatever. So I'm going to take the first ace back. That's your first ticket for a free card trick. Okay. So that involves uh, picking a card. So just say stop. Stop. That one right there. Can you, can you look at that card for me there, Jack? I got it. Have you got it? You, you're going to remember it, yeah? Yep. Please remember the card. Can you do that for me? Okay. Now, obviously, I don't need this ace anymore, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll just take it and I'll make it Wait, disappear. What? Well, I mean, obviously, I can't let you keep the ticket because then you could be coming after me for another free card trick afterwards, and I can't just give my card tricks out for free. Let's do it again. Uh, I'll take the second one back. Uh, just say stop. Stop. There, right there? Yeah. Can you remember there, that card? I've got it, yeah. It's really important you remember them because later on when I dramatically find them, it's not as impressive if you can't find them. Uh, and obviously, we don't need that Ace of Diamonds now. I'm just going to uh, make that one disappear as well. Like I say, I'm really sorry, but I can't let you keep onto the ticket. Uh, one final card trick. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, just say stop. Stop. Cool. Uh, that's that card. That's card number three. Can you remember that one? I've got it. You've you got a pretty good memory, because you happen to remember three cards at this point. Yeah, yeah? I've got them all, yeah. you got them all, great. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of that ticket as well, is that okay? Oh. Watch. Gone. Uh, there we go. And that's all three tickets gone. So now I've got to find three cards, because I promised you three card tricks. And that's what this Ace of Spades is here for. Uh, let me just come this way. Can you, uh, can you see the Ace of Spades? Yeah. Do you remember I said that's the Magician's card? You did, yeah. It really is. Do you know why? Go on. If I twist, the Ace of Spades disappears as well. How? Well, you see, if I just wait two seconds and spread, now the aces are right there in the middle of the deck. Check this out. There's the aces. They have returned, and they have returned with three cards in between them. No. And three cards only, and they would be your three cards. Don't worry, yeah. There you go. How? Magic. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this? Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow at six o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you.